With the developer interview for the Dead Space remake fast approaching us that will be covering the story and gameplay side of things, Striking Distance Studios has just released something to deter us away from that itching thought, with a trailer to their upcoming title The Callisto Protocol. And what can I say, I have mixed feelings on both the timing of the trailer's release and what has been presented in it. However, what I am going to be presenting to you in this video is going to be much more than just a simple thoughts video. In this video, I will be going through the trailer, giving you the ins and outs, theorizing about the images and other things within the trailer, but also my personal thoughts on why the Callisto Protocol has me feeling uneasy, and let me tell you, it's not what you think. Let's begin. So 10 seconds into the trailer, we already see something interesting for lore development, which is this vice mechanism that looks to be attaching the player's health bar to the back of the neck of this character, which is very interesting seeming that Dead Space did not actually offer us an actual explanation as to how the rig systems work and how they were grafted onto the person, leaving that up to interpretation. In this case, however, we can see that the health bar will be like a tag or brand for the prisoner, storing their essential information within, along with their current health state, along with having a GPS tracking system within them, so that the robotic guards can keep track of all the prisoners at all times. 18 seconds into the trailer, we see this sign that is a welcome sign to a sector that looks like Arkas Station, which if you are unaware of the Greek mythology surrounding Arkas, it was said that he was a hunter who became king of Arcadia. He was remembered for having taught people the arts of weaving and baking bread, and for spreading agriculture to Arcadia. From the subheading it says, digging out the future, which implies that the moon is not just used as a penal colony, but also for mining, which sounds a lot like Asperia, which was one of the marker testing sites in Dead Space Catalyst. Two seconds later, another sign can be seen here that has a company logo with the letters UJC, which stands for United Jupiter Company, along with another word stating terraforming, hinting that there is an organization that is capable of terraforming planets and other places of interest throughout the galaxy. Which sounds interesting as this could be a new strand of experimentation gone wrong for terraforming purposes that has led to a contagion being released into the prison. Through the next set of images that snap in and out, we can see the same letters on the armor plating for our character. A general store with United Jupiter Company on the front, indicating that the company produces more than just terraforming equipment and is a massive corporation, just like the Umbrella Corporation from the Resident Evil series or the CEC from the Dead Space franchise. However, strangely enough, the store is under quarantine. Possibly the general store is a bunker complex that when explored leads to the actual store hidden within. Another few seconds further, we come to a subtle easter egg from Dead Space with the text, Shoot the Tentacles, which is just like, cut off their limbs. Throughout this portion of the trailer, we can see several missing posters, but another piece of paper that reads, Lies, has been placed over it, implying that the missing posters are part of a cover-up, which is backed up by the main character quoting this. Perhaps the contagion had been birthed by experimenting on prisoners. Now, this creature looks to be the infection form that will clamp down on the character's shoulder or exposed flesh with a terrible bite and the teeth would inject the bacteria into the bloodstream, with the transformation being imminent. It also looks to be like a creature from The Thing remake. A line that reads, This isn't about escaping, but well, what's it about? Answers. 
There seems to be going down a road with Isaac's journey in Dead Space 2, but also mixed with other protagonist journeys, such as Frank West from the Dead Rising franchise. Instead of looking to rid themselves of this nightmare, they are going to attempt to find out the truth in ending the outbreak, and who is at fault here. So those are the major points in the trailer that I wanted to cover, so let's get into what I think. I am pretty happy from what I have seen so far, however I am concerned about the future for the Callisto Protocol, as the game seems to be trying too hard to stand out, that it starts to rely on things that made other franchises so great, with little to no innovation being brought to the table. Don't get me wrong, the trailer looks great and I am looking forward to playing the game, however the developers do seem confused about the direction for the story with certain things that are pulled from other franchises, as I have already listed in the trailer analysis. Which does make me feel uneasy, as instead of the game looking like a spiritual successor, it looks like the developers are saying that this is the new and improved Dead Space. And if I'm being honest with myself, it looks like they are desperate to release this game before the remake of Dead Space releases. All in all, the trailer looks great, but leaves a lot to be desired in originality. On a personal note though, it seems like Glenn is trying to rush development in order to meet that deadline with a certain tweet that has now been deleted, but in a nutshell he had been congratulating himself on his decision to make his employees work harder than needed. We are talking about 7 days a week here, just to beat EA Motive to the punch. Which brings me to my second point here. It seems that Glenn has been pushing to drive attention away from Dead Space and towards his upcoming title. How you may ask? Well, the game has been announced since 2019 or earlier. Then they go radio silent until, lo and behold, Dead Space is revealed to be getting a remake. Then Glenn opens the floodgates a year later with interviews, live streams, and trailers throughout the year. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing as most companies do this, but it is pretty clear that Striking Distance is only planning on releasing the game earlier than expected due to Electronic Arts' reviving the series of Dead Space. But hey, that's just my opinion. Let's hear what you have to say down below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, then give the video a like rating. Comment your thoughts below and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you to all of my channel members for going the extra mile with your support and I deeply appreciate all of you. Sign up to join the British Alliance today by hitting the subscribe button and ringing in the notification bell allowing all updates so that you are always notified when new content is presented. If you would like to become a member today then hit that join button and see which tier is for you. And I will see all of you among the cosmos and be sure to have a good one.